today pull back. But one sector which continues to remain under pressure, not just today, but over the last couple of days, have been the PSU stocks. The Nifty CPSC index is down nearly 7.5% this month and 10.5% gone compared to its recent high. Hormis joins in with a quick analysis of how individual stocks have fared. Hormis. There has been this silent sell-off within the PSU space that nobody has been talking about because they were talking about the PSUs all the way through when they were moving you know, at record highs every single day. But the PSU index, the PSC index made a record high of around 11,800 on the 1st of August and since then the index has given up almost 8.5% in just about a month or so. And since there are a lot of these sectors within the PSU basket, the high-flying ones that start off with the railways, of course, the rail PSUs almost look at these names, IRFC, RVNL, IRCON, Railtel, almost all of them have corrected anywhere between 15% to 30% from their record high levels. So this is the kind of correction that you've seen. Of course, these stocks have moved up 3x, 4x over the last one year. So these, even after that, they have corrected almost 15 to 30% from their record highs. Even the defense names, be it HAL, BEL, or Bharat Dynamics, have seen a correction of anywhere between 19 to 20% to even 30% for Bharat, Dy uh, for, for Bharat Dynamics from their record record high levels now within the shipbuilders now shipbuilders were once they were the ones that were very talked about within the in the month of july and also towards the month of august to a certain extent they topped out in the month of july for the time being masgao dog cochin shipyard garden reach all of them made record highs in that month of july and since then have corrected anywhere between 25 percent to as much as 40 percent when it comes to cochin shipyard Metal PSUs as well, SAIL, NMDC have seen corrections of anywhere up to 30% from their peak levels. And even the power PSUs, be it REC, PFC, they are the ones leading the losses today down almost 10 to 20% from their peaks. Now, <coughs> Excuse me. Now, these PSUs, brokerages too are erring on the side of caution. City downgraded ONGC recently. Goldman Sachs downgraded SBI on Friday and Morgan Stanley too says that it is veering away from PSU banks towards the private players and it has cut price targets for SBI, Bank of Baroda, PNB, Canara Bank and Bank of India. So overall, the silent PSU sell-off continues but people looking to find some value at the lower levels. Mm, absolutely.